Hello everyone, this is 17759 Team Mines, and this is our odometry module. It uses Omni wheels and a rev encoder. As you can see here, it's really sturdy, and it is also spring loaded. So the parts we're going to need today is all going to be linked down in the description. A rev encoder. Omni wheels green. The gray ones work too. Two 3D printed parts, link in the description. A screw and a nut. So the first thing we're gonna do is stick the encoder, I mean the shaft into the encoder. Notice what direction we're um, putting it in. And then we're going to put the Omni wheels into it. And we're also going to attach this 3D printed part and use it to screw in the nut to hold it together. And it's pretty self explanatory as you can see here. and it runs freely by itself. The next step is to grab two holes, two two hole Kubota uh, frames, and we're gonna create a 90 degree angle for our um, odometry model to sit in, and this prevents it from getting hit. And once, if it does get hit, it's really secure and it won't break our odometry module. And it's pretty simple. As you see later, you just create a 90 degree angle. Put the two mounts on both sides. Yeah.
screw in the a 3x5 grip plate and a 90 degree angle mount and screw in the rope up first before adding our drum screw module. This is where the screws from the grid, um, odometer screw module is going to attach to the robot. We're just going to use a couple screws and nuts and just fit it based on the robot. Now we're going to grab the odometry module, the 90 degree angle mount, 60 mm screw, two washers, and we're going to attach it together, as you're going to see later. And yeah, then we're going to attach this to the robot screw, then using the nut. And then on the top of this, um, on the top of the 90 degree plate, we're going to add two screws and two nuts on top of the 90 degree, the smaller 90 degree angle mount on the robot. Here I'm just re-screwing in, making sure everything is tight. And here we're gonna finish up tightening it, uh, the 60mm screw. Make sure it's not too tight or else it won't have the spring, spring loaded effect. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments. We're, we're able to help out.
spring load our robot, we're gonna make a knot on the on the arm of the encoder. We're gonna make that knot and we're gonna attach it around around the bottom of the encoder and hit the screw. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment comment section below and thank you for watching. Hope this helps.